we can begin. Now, there's you can remove the bark if you wish to make it easier to scrape the tip, although it's not necessary. Uh, and the way to scrape the tip, and let's make sure I start it the right length. Okay, what I do is I'll start with the blade flat and toward the center of the reed and not coming off the heart but scraping diagonally but with the blade flat okay and then move it to the other side see how that is keep the blade centered and flat and move out to the, the corners and what happens is the um, there'll be more cane on the sides than in the middle because of this and that's okay for now all right now I know he's in his book he might say to start from the heart but I start right from the tip and scrape off the sides now let's do the other side I don't actually remove the bark before I just do this I just dig right in and um, it may feel like for those of you who like to stay away from the middle it may feel kind of strange to be scraping the middle like this because you're gonna be like you know what the reed's gonna be this shrill thing but it, it doesn't turn out that way be very foreign. Okay, now that was a sound that I didn't like to hear. These the kids are up to something. All right. So now, you know what? I'm going to clip the end so it's not frayed. All right. It's peeping a little bit. Let me sharpen the knife. All right. Now, unfortunately, this cane is uh, is gouged a little too heavy for this kind of reed, but we're gonna uh, stick it out. Make sure you go off the corners. And for me, one of the things about this reed is to not get the tip of the reed too th thin too soon. Um, all right, It's going to feel kind of strange, I think, for some to scrape it this way. But it does work out. You'd be surprised. Um, because what you're doing, you're actually establishing a, a nice smooth transition from the heart through the tip and the tip will vibrate nice and evenly even though it feels very foreign to do it this way and most people would say what are you doing scraping the middle okay and this trick also is you can't advance to the next step until the initial <laughs> step is completed and that's the thing about this read it's tip heart back and if you do it in the right order the right way it turns out good okay now let's say that that's looking fairly well scraped it's got a decent profile now let's crow it, it should be it should move quite a bit and it does now I'm just going to continue on a little bit. Since you are moving more material from the center by scraping the center, you might have to scrape the sides a little bit to uh, even it out. Mm -hmm. Essentially you want a flat tip. Uh, well it appears flat but it's, a, it's an illusion because it actually has a nice concave profile which is 
important in reed making. You don't want it to be convex, you want it to be concave from the heart through the tip. Okay? No, no humps. No extra stuff in the middle that you don't need. I know Loray players are like, oh, what are you saying? I can't. I need all that stuff in the middle to tone it down. <coughs> Not true. Okay, so let's um, clip it till it's a C. Wow. So now it peeps, right? And that's essentially what it's supposed to do. It just kind of peeps. So, let's see. I'm going to fiddle with the heart just a little bit more before we scrape the channels. Now, because this gouge is rather heavy, so, um, we may have to go back to the tip to, to finish it toward the end. But once we got it to this point, you pretty much establish the tip, okay? And if it looks like a point, that's good. You've done it right. See how it looks pointed there? You want it to look like that, all right? Now it peeps. So, next step, we scrape the channels of the heart. What I call the heart. Some people call it the hump. I prefer heart. Scrape right off. Okay, I'll see. And then we're going to play it. All right. You want it to crow a C, as close to a C, throughout the process. Because you can't really fiddle with the reed unless it's at a C. All right. Remember that. So it's a B. Now we'll make it a C. Now it's a C. Um, it still peeps, and that's okay. There's really not much more I have to do to it since I've since I've done the 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 tip and 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 then the heart area. Now we scrape the back. So let's remove some cane. Cane. I know I say that word weird. So I've been living here too long. Hey, you need to stick around, huh? Okay, where were you all this time? Okay. All right, now with this bark removed, and be sure, I, 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 many um, young students or young reed makers, they, they don't get the bark and the shell off. The bark is the outer lining, and the and then the shell is just underneath the bark. You really have to get that off, okay, when you're making this kind of a reed or any kind of a reed. And uh, oftentimes I see it, and they bring reeds in, and they're, you know, there's still shell and bark on it. It's got to go. Okay, now we're going to make the catch. Keep the blade flat and on the back, and don't lift it up. Just keep it there, okay, and you do about maybe 15, and you finish the back of the reed, the catch. You sharpen again. You sharpen your knife often, okay, get in the habit of that. All right, there's your catch. And that's important, just like his book. Another thing I want you to make note of, the heart should not be more than five millimeters, okay, in an American scraped reed. 
Philadelphia style. The heart can't be more than five millimeters. All right. Otherwise, it's not going to. You're not going to have a flexible read. Now, the, of course, many things determine how if it be, if you make it smaller or a little longer. But essentially, five millimeters. So if it's not, you'll have to move it up. Keep in mind, this is a quick read also. This is a very quick read. And I think we're pretty close to finishing it. So that's what we have so far. Now we'll do a clip, try to get it closer to a C. And when you take so much out of the back, you're going to have to clip it because it definitely drops the crow. Now that's closer. The only, the last thing I have to do, really, to get this read almost done, is, um, what I say, kind of massage the sides of the tip. Hmm? And in this area. And over here. And then on the other side. Even it out. This is this side didn't turn out so great, but we could fix it. There we go. And then over here. Okay. There, just off the corners, just like he says in his book. Probably another clip and it'll be okay. You can see the profile looks decent. Hmm. It's, albeit a little long. And you can see through there. I think a clip or two should finish it. Alright, let's try it. Yeah, we're very close. Yeah, the tip is... It's going to need some help. And that's usually what we try to do. I have to move this heart up a little bit. I mean, the back of the heart, as you can see, the heart is still a little long. And then I don't like that. So, sometimes you form, you can scrape through it. Some reed makers, you'll see, have uh, certain levels. It's kind of, in the old days, my student days, I used to turn the reed around. That might work for you, too. And scrape to get rid of that, some of that... Um, Smooth it out a bit, yeah. And then uh, a little more on the heart, a clip, and we should have it. Bear in mind, when you were scraping the, the tip flat, you established it at the beginning, so you really don't have to do anything more except for maybe the sides at the tip. Hmm? Get rid of some rough edges here. And yes, and a uh, clip or two should do it. One more. No, oh, what are we doing here? One more. Very little amounts, right? Not too much. Alright, let's try it again. So there you have it. That's your, what I call the J-Lite read.